All right, everybody. Looks like we're just top of the hour. So I'm going to get rolling here. Let me go here and mute out everybody. And then we'll have some time for questions at the end. And uh, people can unmute themselves and ask questions or type, type away in that chat box and I'll get to them at the end. Um, but what we're going to talk about tonight is, uh, is phased benefits um, of our products. One of the uh, and you know, I, I've, I've, done a, I've done a seminar about phased benefits um, about a year ago, but it continues to be one of the predominant or, or you know, most, most asked questions that we get, which is, you know, we are a mental wellness company um, and we, we talk to people about moving them up that mental wellness continuum, helping them with with mood and stress and tension and irritability and brain fog and all that kind of stuff. But the question is, how fast do the products work or when can I expect benefits? And so what we're gonna talk about tonight is when those benefits come, because some of the benefits come very quickly, you know, literally the day you start taking the products, a lot of people feel better that day, uh, which is fantastic. But that isn't everything about mental wellness, right? Some of the mental wellness benefits take a little bit longer. They might take a week. They might take a month. They might take several months if we're talk starting to talk less about mental wellness and more about physical health. So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Um, so let me start in on these slides. So for people who, who are maybe new to uh, hearing about the Amari story, this is our Thursday night science deep dive. So this is typically where um, some nights we'll just do sort of an open mic, you know, like office hours where people get to, you know, just ask questions and we spend a whole hour just answering questions and talking about how the products work and things like that. Some nights I'll talk specifically about one product for a whole hour and we'll really get into the weeds on how it works and why these ingredients and not other ingredients and why they're put together in a particular combination. Sometimes on these deep dive nights, we'll talk about a particular area of mental wellness, like depression or autism or leaky gut or, <laughs> the gut or whatever the case may be. So um, tonight we're going to talk about, about this concept of phased benefits. But Amari is a mental wellness company. Uh, we really focus everything that we do on that. And the reason that that's important, as I'll get into and I've got into on other calls, Mental wellness is the biggest problem around the world right now. And so, you know, the, the, the fact that we want to really lead this mission, lead this revolution around the country or around the world, country now, world eventually, um, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big, big problem to address. And I'm not on this call tonight going to go through, um, you know, all the statistics about the size of the opportunity and the size of the problem and, you know, how it's changing and all that kind of stuff. I really do want to focus on this concept of, of phase benefits. So um, I actually, <coughs> I did one of those calls last night for our group in Hawaii, and I just posted that up to Facebook and to, um, and to YouTube. So if people want that sort of an overview of all the products and why Amari is doing what it's doing in the world, you can, you can hit Facebook and, and, and you, can see, you can see that sort of a thing, okay? So um, when we talk about this mental wellness continuum, it really is any aspect of how you feel. Um, you might feel low on the mental wellness continuum. You might feel sort of medium. You might feel kind of, you know, high on the, on the optimized end. And what we say to people is that we can meet you no matter where you are and help move you from wherever that is to the right. And that's an amazing thing because sometimes we'll get people who are low on the mental wellness continuum and we get them to feel normal again, right? They feel, they finally feel good again. We can get people who are in the middle of the mental wellness continuum and we can get them to feel amazing. We can sometimes get them to feel as, as, as good or as better as they've ever felt in their entire life. And then there are people who are in the optimized category who are on the right hand side of the mental wellness continuum and we can get them to get that edge, to get that mental edge, that physical edge, that performance edge that can really help take them to that next level. Or, and this is equally important, or keep them in that optimized zone in the face of all the kinds of stress that we face all the time, right? So it really is this idea of getting you wherever you are, meeting you wherever you are, and moving you somewhat to the right and somewhat to the right and somewhat to the right. And that process of moving you to the right, some of the benefits come quickly, 
Some of the benefits come medium term, some of the benefits come long term. And I want to walk you through, not all of our products have phased benefits across our 19 products that we have in our line right now, but a lot of them do. And what I want to do is walk you through kind of the kind of the, you know, the, the, the nuances of why a particular product works quickly in some ways and medium in some ways and long-term in some ways, what the biochemistry of that looks like so that you know what, what, can ex what you can expect yourselves and what your customers can expect and what their customers can expect and things like that. So here's some of my background for people who, who are maybe new to Amari or new to this call and don't really know, um, you know, sort of where I'm coming from. My PhD is in nutritional biochemistry. So the kind of work that I do is to look at how a particular situation like stress or exercise or a particular type of diet, a good diet or a bad diet, or your sleep patterns or any kind of a lifestyle factor how that affects your biochemistry. So for example, if people are stressed out, we can look at stress hormones like cortisol. Um, if somebody is depressed or anxious, we can look at neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine and things like that. If somebody is in pain, we can look at uh, inflammatory compounds like cytokines. And, and, but then all of that biochemistry, that's interesting, but then we also correlate that biochemistry to psychology. So how does a stress hormone lead to your feelings of tension? How does a, a, a cytokine lead to your feelings of inflammation and pain? How does a neurotransmitter lead to your levels of mood and mental focus and things like that? So, you know, that, that psychological piece of it is sometimes these days, the kind of work that I do is sometimes called nutritional psychology, but we're coming at it from a very biochemical perspective. So I want to let you know that that, so that you understand how I'm going to talk about some of these things. So the reason that we're having this call again, even though I've talked about phased benefits about a year ago and that video and those slides are posted up on YouTube and, and posted up on my blog and posted up on Facebook and all kinds of places where people can have access to it to, to educate themselves. The reason we're talking about it again is like I said just a few minutes ago, it continues to be a very common question, right? People are very interested in feeling better. They're very interested in our particular take on mental wellness, that we can affect mental wellness in a really positive way by focusing on the gut-brain axis and this idea of harnessing the microbiome, harnessing what's happening in the gut so that we get good feelings in the brain, so that we move ourselves up that mental wellness continuum. That's really resonating with lots and lots of people who weren't here a year ago when I did the first phase benefits. But what our marketing team has done is, is put together these really nice slides that are available to you. These slides that I'm using are all right in the Amare um, uh, resources section on the website. So you can go there right now and download all of the slides that you see me using tonight. I'm also going to post up this precise deck that I'm using um, along with this video later on tonight or first thing tomorrow morning, um, again, on Facebook and on YouTube and on my blog and all those places that people can, can use it and share it. But what we're doing with these graphics and with these new slides is really showing people not just the phase benefits, but where people might want to start. So let me go back to that one. I didn't mean to click through that one. So, you know, sometimes people will come in and they'll say, all right, I, I get it. I want this mental wellness benefit um, or these mental wellness benefits, but where do I start? Right, and you could start across our our 19 products. You could certainly, you know, I, I I do presentations all around the country, and people come up to me and they go, "Yep, that sounds pretty good. I want to start with all 19 products." You know, and you're like, "No, no, 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 that's not what we're trying to get people to do." Right? I I, I get it that there are advantages to each and every one of our 19 products, but what we want people to do is sort of say, "Okay." That's great. All those products do all those wonderful things. Which are the right ones for me? Which is the place that, where, where am I on the mental wellness continuum? And in, more importantly, where do I want to go? What are my goals? How far up do I want to get? At, at first, your goal might be just to get out of the quagmire so you feel, you feel normal again. You know? So if that's it, 
You can start with just one product or a collection of products or customize your own regimen based on where you are and where you want to go. So, you know, you might look at something like our mentabiotics as a good option, right? That's one product, but it really is like four formulas in the same product. So in that one product, you're getting a full mental wellness oriented probiotic blend that's giving you specific strains of bacteria. And I'm gonna get into the details of this in just a minute. Specific strains of bacteria to help with depression and anxiety and stress. You're getting three different uh, prebiotic fibers that are also helping with different aspects of mental wellness and also helping to encourage the growth of those bacteria. You're getting phytobiotics, which can help across the entire gut brain axis. And you're getting a digestive performance blend to help you move the food through your digestive tract, through your gastrointestinal tract appropriately. So you're getting four very distinct formulas in that one product, right? So that's a very, very good option, one product in and of itself. A better option, meaning better in terms of uh, uh, um, a, a, a bigger collection of holistic benefits, would be our fundamentals pack, would be to get mentabiotics, but then build on all of those benefits that I just talked about with a specific product for the brain and a specific product for the axis in between. And I'll share some data on that particular formulation of, of, of three products. So now instead of one product with four formulas, you're getting three products with about a dozen formulas in it that are gonna modulate other aspects of the gut-brain axis versus focusing mostly in the gut like the, like the mentabiotics does. And then the best option might be to take that fundamentals, so gut, full gut-brain axis, but then build on it with all the functional foods so that you are giving yourself all the optimal nutrition of Vita GBX and protecting your cells and getting your cells to protect themselves from the stresses that they're exposed to. Um, the, the functional foods, uh, GBX foods, are, are giving you your proteins and your phytonutrients and your fibers, but they're also not just giving you nutrition, they're giving you functionality above and beyond that nutrition. So you're getting microbiome nourishment. You're getting uh, the edge taken off your stress and tension. You're getting the edge taken off your anxiety in different ways than what you're getting with just the, the fundamentals and in different ways than with just the mentabiotics. So, you know, you can select whatever level there that you want to get. And the phased benefit idea refers to this. You're not going to get all the benefits right at the very beginning, right? The idea of phased benefits is that people can get somewhat better almost immediately, right? So for example, we know that with something like mentabiotics, we can have somebody mix it up, drink it down, and literally within 60 minutes, within one short hour, they go from a place of tension, which is characterized by beta waves in your brain. Within one hour, they go to a state of predominantly alpha waves, which we refer to as relaxed alertness. Right, So that's something where you may mix up mentabiotics and drink it down and an hour later you'll go, whew, I think I'm feeling it. I think, I think something's going on here. What you're seeing very quickly are things like this. You're seeing reduced stress, you're seeing reduced tension, you're seeing um, a, a general change in those brainwave patterns, which is wonderful if I can deliver that to you very quickly because what happens is the person goes, huh, I think that's working for me. I'm going to take it again tomorrow. And it does the same thing tomorrow. And you'll say, I'm going to take it again tomorrow. And it does the same thing. And again, and again, and again. And as you go through that process of your stress and your mood and your tension being in a nicer place because we're modulating brain waves, then what you see is that over the course of a, a, a few weeks, now your neurotransmitters are going to start to change. That isn't something that I can change very, very quickly. That's something where brain waves I can change in a day. Neurotransmitters aren't going to really see a, a, a dominant uh, a rebalancing effect for five or six or seven days. So let's say a week on that. You know, then what you're going to notice at that one week time point are things more uh, along the lines of memory and mental focus and a lifting of your brain fog, right? So you felt good early now, medium term, around a week, now you're feeling even better. You're feeling more good. 
And then you continue doing that. You say, wow, I felt really good early and I feel even better now. I'm really gonna keep taking this every single day. And then what you start to see is the real mood changes coming in as a result of changes in your microbiome. So if we were to give you just the microbiome orientation of your products, right? Just, just give you the probiotics, for example, that may not have an effect for three or four or six or eight kind of weeks because it takes time to grow that. It takes time to really have a meaningful change in the garden, in the diversity, in the resilience of that microbiome. But if we can help people feel better earlier than that, why should we have them wait a month or two months or three months, right, for that microbiome to change if we can help them feel better by changing their, neuro, their, their, their neurotransmitters? And why should I have them wait a week or two to change their neurotransmitters if we can modulate brainwave patterns in an hour or a day, right? So hopefully that makes sense, that that concept that I just described of helping somebody feel better early and then more better medium and then even more better long-term that's the concept of Faves Benefits. And it's, and it's built into a number of our products very, very consciously because we want people to get that early benefit so they go to the next stage of benefits and so they go to the next stage of benefits. And so we have it built into Mentabiotics. We have it built into uh, uh, Fundamentals. And so what you get is all the things that you get with Mentabiotics, you get that plus the additional benefits of the MentaSync and the MentaFocus. So you're getting a bigger collection of phased benefits that some are coming early, some are coming medium, some are coming long-term. And then we can look at something like the Project B3 pack, where it's an even bigger pack of products with an even bigger collection of benefits that also come on those phased benefits. So, you know, you're always getting phased benefits. It's just a matter of you getting this many phased benefits or this many phase benefits, or this many phase benefits, right? So hopefully that makes sense to everybody. But these, these, these graphics, I think, are very illustrative to be able to say to your customers, this is what you should expect. This is what the research shows. This is how with these, 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 these feelings, you know, these, these outcomes have been quantified in a wide range of scientific studies in humans, right? So we have very, very good... Um, very, very good uh, uh, expectations that people will actually get these benefits because they've been validated at all those different levels, right? And then here's a summary slide so people can see, you know, good, better, best, phase, 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 okay? So hopefully that makes sense to everybody. Um, I, wanted, I wanna kind of dig in a little bit and give you some specific product examples and then try to dial it back to you and say, look, here's this product, here's the benefit that you're getting, Here's why. Here's the underlying reason for that benefit. You know, what, what does the biochemistry look like? What, is the, what, what does the phase look like? What is the time course of when you, should, when you should see that expectation? And it really comes from this whole idea. A lot of what we do is very cutting edge science around this idea that how we feel here in our heads is, is, is not the whole puzzle. Right. This, you know, what, what happens in the brain is still important, but what happens in the brain isn't just confined to the brain. That's old time thinking. That's that kind of thinking is is outdated by 100 or 200 years that, you know, if we had a dysfunction in the brain long time ago, it made sense that we thought that the that the dysfunction lived in that brain. But what we're realizing and, and that that thinking has led to the to the whole family of, of what we call SSRI style drugs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, Prozac style drugs that work in the brain to change your neurotransmitter balance. But what we realize now is that that really isn't the whole set of targets that we have. This idea of the second brain, this idea of the gut brain axis, this idea of the microbiome making in that second brain in your gut making 90% of the serotonin in your body, the neurotransmitter of happiness, making 70% of your dopamine, the neurotransmitter of motivation, and most of your norepinephrine for focus and most of your GABA for relaxation and et cetera, et cetera. So what we're, what we're, what we're looking at here is three different targets now. The brain is still a really important target for us, 
but it's not the only target. The gut is a really important target for us, maybe more important than the brain as a, as a, as a predominant target. That's why something like mental folk, uh, I'm sorry, that's why something like mentabiotics that works primarily in the gut is, is a more important product than mentafocus or, or maybe even more important than mood for a lot of people, right? Because of so much that's going on in the gut. We really think of the microbiome and the gut and the whole gut brain axis as, as, the, as the, the, the most important target. Right. And I say it like that, even though it's three specific targets. So anyway, um, we can get sometimes we can get fast benefits in one place or the other. But when we're talking about regrowing a microbiome, as important as it is, because the microbiome signals your brain, but the microbiome signals every single part of your body signals go out from your microbiome to everything. There isn't an aspect of mental wellness or physical health that is not modulated in some way very importantly by the microbiome. Unfortunately, you know, so that's very exciting. But the downside of that is that we can't grow your microbiome overnight, right? With our reboot, we know that we can get a positive change in your microbiome over about three days. But in order to really change the architecture and to change the function and to change the structure of your microbiome, we need weeks. And, and that is, that's good and bad. It's good to know that. And if we know that, we can build in some of those other phases of benefit where if we're waiting for weeks for our microbiome to change enough, where now we're making substantially more serotonin or we're making substantially more norepinephrine or we're making substantially more short chain fatty acids or whatever signaling molecule we're talking about. If we know that that's gonna take weeks, we can build in other things that work in a week or in a day, okay? So um, I was gonna say something else about this too while I had this, while I had this slide on. Oh, the other part of it is that, um, because the microbiome will take weeks to change substantially like that, what we will also see is that over the course of, let's say a month, right? So we'll say four weeks because we have really good data on that. When our microbiome changes in that significant way, our psychology also changes in a significant way. And I'll show you those data in just a second. But what you see after that is that because of what the microbiome is sending signals around, things like immune system activation, things like inflammatory balance, things like um, a cell's ability to, or a tissue's ability to build itself up more instead of break itself down more, being anabolic versus catabolic. Those kinds of things will end up leading to physical health changes as well. So one of the very, um, yeah, uh, very, uh, uh, not surprising, I guess, from a scientific perspective, but surprising from a customer perspective, because we're a mental wellness company. A lot of people come in and they start on the products and they feel good quickly. They feel good a little bit. They feel better, you know, more better. And then they feel more better. And then at month two or month three or month four, they start to go, huh, you know, that thing, that physical thing that was bothering before, that seems to be going away, or that seems to be gone, or that little, that little ache that I had, huh, why am I not aching anymore? Wait a minute, this is a, this is a mental wellness company. Why am I getting this physical health change? We're seeing people with, they become more flexible, they became more, more, more mobile, they have more energy that they can put into their physical output. We see people skin changing, we see all these kinds of physical changes, that, that look like they have nothing to do with the mental changes that we're really you know, promoting and really talking to people about in the early days, but they're really linked to each other through the immune system and through the inf inflammatory cascade and through the tissue turnover and things like that. So you know, those are even later stage phases um, that, 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 that people experience. And it's, it, you know, I, I say as a scientist, it's not surprising, right? We plan for those kinds of things, but because we don't really talk about that as the, as the front of our promise that we're, that we're offering the customers with our products, it's surprising to them because it's a, it's a benefit they weren't expecting they were going to get. And when they get it, they're, I mean, obviously they're very happy when they see those late stage benefits, but that idea 
of changing something in the biome in order to get an effect in the brain, right? So we're changing the microbiome, we're changing gut signaling, we're changing signals going across the gut-brain axis, biome-oriented. As a result of that, we're getting these brain benefits, energy and uh, less tension and better mood and better motivation and better stress resilience. And as a result of that, we're seeing these body benefits, right? We're seeing these actual physical changes. And some of those physical changes are related to body weight. People are losing weight without even trying. Some of those body benefits are because your tissues are healing at a higher rate and they're not breaking down like they were before. You've changed the balance of turnover is how we would how we would describe that. Um, so all of these are very, very much linked to each other, but they come on different phases. You have to get the biome changes first to get the brain benefits, to get the body benefits. But when you do that in a coordinated way and people stay consistent with the product recommendations, you see that those things start to synergize with each other. And you can really get people out of this, you know, what, what, what sometimes we call a vicious cycle where they're out of balance and that's leading to more imbalance and more imbalance. And, you know, they have, they have physical problems and, that, and they have psychological problems and they have gut health problems, but you can take somebody out of that vicious cycle and get them to reverse that. So instead of a downward spiral, they're going into an upward spiral, which is a very virtuous cycle where biome balancing leads to psychology, leads to physical, and you see that those start to feed on each other. Instead of imbalance leading to imbalance, you see balance lead to balance, lead to balance, and people just keep getting better and better and better and better. And the cool thing about seeing that is that we can measure it. We can measure these physical outcomes. We can measure the biochemistry. We can measure the microbiome balance. We can measure the psychology in a very objective, quantified way. But then when we start to see people feeling so much better in these very holistic ways, that person ends up opening up in a way where they start to see possibilities that they couldn't see before. You know, so they, they, they might be low on that mental wellness continuum and they just want to feel normal again. But once they start to feel normal again, they go, huh, I'm feeling like my old self. What, where could I possibly go? Maybe I could feel amazing. Maybe I could get myself into that optimized zone. But you can't talk to somebody about the optimized zone when they're down and they don't even know what to do tomorrow, right? So that idea of better and better and better and better is by design because we can take people and have them do these baby steps to get better and better and better and, 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 and have, and have more, more possibilities opening for their, for their psychology and their, and, their, and their physicality, okay? So let's get into some of how this actually works. So one of the reasons that mentabiotics works very quickly in people, um, and, I, and I joke around about it with people sometimes because um, we had a guy, this, is, this has got to be two years ago, right? So you know, just when we were starting, we, products were still in the development stage, right? So we had a bunch of you know, white tubs with no labels, nothing like that uh, around the office. And we mixed some up for a guy. And uh, he, you know, we had talked a little bit. He knew the gut-brain axis thing. He knew we were doing microbiome modulation and things like that. Mixed it up. He drank it down. And he's like, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Okay, let's start talking about the products. About 45 minutes, maybe an hour into the science presentation, he started saying, huh, I think I'm feeling it. I think I'm feeling it. I feel, I feel something. And before I get to tell him what he was feeling, which is illustrated on this particular slide you see right now, he said, my microbiome is popping, right? He felt less tension. He felt relaxed, but alert. And he was thinking oh, my microbiome must have changed over that 45 to 60 minutes, and therefore, that's why I'm having this effect in my brain. That isn't what was going on. Remember I just said a few minutes ago, that microbiome change is going to take weeks probably to really exert itself in a, in a meaningful way. So why in the world was he feeling better within an hour? It's because of this. It's because we're, we're in this Mentabiotics product, we have a, an amino acid that comes from green tea, naturally found in green tea leaves, called, called theanine. We use a particular brand called sun theanine because that's the one that all the research has been done on to show this. 
that it can increase your alpha waves. So that's that idea I mentioned before. Why does mentobiotics help you feel better the day you take it? Because it's taking you from beta waves, which are anxiety, tension, and bringing you to alpha waves very quickly. So here you can see with theanine, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, 75, 90. After 105 minutes, your brain is just awash in these alpha waves. For an athlete, alpha waves is being in the zone. When an athlete is in the zone, they're able to do high level mental and physical work in a relaxed way. So that idea of relaxed alertness, being able to accomplish whatever you want, but do it in a calm, collected fashion, you're getting that with, with, this, with this very specific type of, um, of theanine called sun theanine. So you get that sort of a benefit, right? You get that, you know, the day that you take it. And like I said earlier, what people are going to do is they're going to go, I really liked the way that mentobiotics made me feel. I'm going to take it again tomorrow. I really like the way that makes me feel today. I'm going to take it tomorrow. I really like the way it makes me feel today. I'm going to take it tomorrow. And as you do that, day, 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 by the time you get to the end of that week of doing it, now these ingredients have kicked in. And these ingredients, these phytobiotics, these phytonutrients, which are primarily compounds called flavonoids or polyphenols, these are working across the gut-brain axis. They're working in the gut, they're working in the immune system, they're working in the circulatory system, they're working on neurotransmitter balance, but chiefly on the neurotransmitter balance and the blood flow piece, this is now the, what, what, you're gonna, what you're gonna experience is your brain fog lifting, your mental acuity being sharper, your, uh, you know, your ability to remember things and recall things quickly, your brain's ability to do more work and be more creative and those sorts of things, those are gonna come around that five, six, seven day period because that's how long it takes to modulate that aspect or those aspects of biochemistry, okay? So you're seeing that sort of an effect come in. Um, then, you're, so you felt better day one in certain ways, you felt better week one in certain ways, and all that time, you've been supplementing with the probiotics and the prebiotics, which are changing what's happening in your microbiome. But it, you're, you're not going to feel that at week one. You're not going to feel it at week two. You might start to feel it around week three. You'll certainly start to feel it around week four. And the reason for that is that these bacteria that we're giving, these specific strains of bacteria to lower your stress and lower your anxiety and lower your depression, those just take time to grow. Think of it like a garden. If anybody on this call right now is a gardener, or here we are in springtime, you're probably thinking about what you're going to plant out in the garden right now, right? But you're not going to go out next weekend or this weekend and plant your seed, you know, dig a little hole, plant your seed of tomatoes or cucumbers, or whatever it is you're going to grow in your garden this year, cover it over, put a little bit of water, and step back and go, ah, I don't think it's working. I don't, I don't think it's working. I, 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 don't, I, I, I don't think this is going to do what I want it to do. We're not going to get any cucumbers out of that. It hasn't, it hasn't started yet, right? It's the same exact idea with your microbiome. We can give you the seeds, so to speak, that we want to grow and that we want to change the structure and the function of that microbiome, but these take time. In, in fact, it, they, they take time, but we can nurture them along. So first of all, we give you good seeds that have been clinically validated for all these benefits. And then we match it up. Oh, I'm sorry. We match it up with the right foods. That's the prebiotic fibers. And then we match it up with the right environment uh, in terms of making sure that your gut has the right pH, making sure that you're digesting the right way, making sure that we're protecting those seeds once they, once they start to germinate. All of that stuff is built into mentobiotics and built in even more in fundamentals and built in even more in Project B3. So you can think of it in the exact same way. You would never just throw the seeds out there and cross your fingers, you would put the seeds in there, you would water them, you would get the right environment, you give them the right plant food. We're doing the exact same thing across these products. And, and, and we're doing it for those, for those very specific benefits. So, you know, here you're starting to see the, you're starting to reap the benefits of this around three or four weeks. Um, 
when you, so that's the mentabiotics piece of it. Now, when you start to add in some of the ingredients in menta focus, right? So now let's say that you didn't do just mentabiotics as the good solution. Now you're doing fundamentals as your better solution. So you get all those benefits of mentabiotics that I just talked about, but now you're getting additional layers of benefit from menta focus. So here, one of the ingredients in menta focus is this very specific pomegranate extract called Palm X. What you're seeing here on the right hand side are two brain scans that are illustrating a point that here is a placebo situation, control situation, where the brain is always a little bit active wherever there's blood flow, wherever there's electrical activity. But in the pomegranate situation, you're seeing the brain is more active in two particular areas of the brain. One area of the brain where the brain does memory oriented work. So laying down memories, recalling memories, um, uh, you know, doing creative work, th that kind of stuff. The things that you want your brain to do, we're, we're enabling the brain to do that work at a higher level. But we're also activating another area of the brain that is involved in attenuating nervousness or tension or fear. So that what you're doing is you're activating the brain to do more work, but you're also calming the brain at the same time. So remember what I said about theanine. Theanine is helping you with a state of relaxed alertness, right? It's allowing you to be alert, but relaxed at the same time in the zone. This is a similar concept, but it's coming through very, very different mechanisms. So the, the outcome of that is that you're gonna be more focused and engaged and connected with whatever it is that you're working on. It's, it's sort of another type of being in the zone. Uh, we can also get another improvement of brain function with the enzoginol that we use. So we use, a, we use a pine bark extract from New Zealand, New Zealand pine bark extract. There, you can get pine bark from France, you can get pine bark from from uh, China, we use New Zealand pine bark because it's very, very pure. Um, New Zealand is one of the one of the pristine environments of the globe, you know. So it's 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 very low in in toxic load. So we start with a very pure ingredient, but then we also the way this is extracted, this particular ingredient is extracted only using hot water. Some of the other pine barks, like Chinese pine bark and French pine bark are extracted using some pretty harsh solvents. And a lot of times you'll find uh, solvent residue in, in your final extract. You don't see any of that because it's only, it's only extracted with hot water. But so, so we use it for purity reasons, we use it for potency reasons. And, and the outcome that you get here is a faster brain. What you're seeing here is different ways that we can measure um, speed of processing on different mental tests. And in the endogenous situation, the darker blue bars, there's a much, much faster speed, clock speed of your brain's ability to do what a brain is supposed to do. So, you know, this is something that you're getting around a week, uh, three days, five days, seven days, something like that. So much so that this is often used acutely in New Zealand, almost like a study drug kind of a thing. In fact, in New Zealand, this particular ingredient is used as first line natural ADD therapy, um, very similarly to how, how theanine is used in Japan for the same reason. So if you're in Japan or you're in New Zealand and you're somebody who is sort of on the, you know, uh, you know attention focus problem spectrum, uh, th these would be things that you would, that you would look at first before you would ever consider, you know, one of those one of those pharmaceutical agents. In fact, I have a personal story about this. My son, uh, who's an honor roll student in high school now, but years ago when he was in grammar school, we had teachers that that were suggesting to us that um, that that he needed to be medicated in terms of his inability to focus. And so, you know, we we didn't want to put him on one of those pharmaceuticals uh, because most of those pharmaceuticals in that class, in that mental focus class, you know, ADD style drugs, they're one or two chemical steps away from amphetamines, from, from meth. And so you don't want to put kids on that unless it's an absolute last resort. So what we did with my son, we gave him enzoginol, specifically the same exact stuff that you're finding in these Amari products. And we gave him sun theanine, the same exact stuff you're finding in Amari products. And within about a week, he was a completely new kid. 
right? So you're getting a very acute effect. It didn't happen that day necessarily, but it happened within that first week, so much so that the teachers came back to us and, and thought we had medicated them. And, and we hadn't, we had used these, you know, we had used these natural means. Um, so anyway, those are available to, you know, to people using the Amari products too. Another thing that, that Enzogena will do is while it's getting your brain to be faster, it's also getting your brain to be calmer. So you're seeing a common theme here that we can use theanine to make the brain do more work in certain ways and be calm in certain ways. We're using pomegranate to do more work in certain ways and be calm in certain ways. We're using enzoginol, pine bark, to be more work in certain ways and calm in certain ways. And I, and I, I, I use those three examples to illustrate that idea because that idea sometimes people think it would be, would be counteracting, right? That, wait a minute, how can you do more work and calming at the same time? Those would seem to be antagonistic to each other, that they would cancel each other out. And they actually don't because they're happening in different parts of the brain, right? So you're doing one thing to one region and one thing to another region. And that's very, very important that we can help people naturally get into this zone, which is, you know, some people would also refer to what I'm, what I'm talking about is, as being um, an adaptogenic effect, where what you're helping the body do is adapt to whatever stresses that, is, that it is uh, encountering, right? So we see it with these kinds of ingredients that, I, that I'm talking about. We're gonna see it again in a few minutes when I start talking about how the Mood Plus product works, okay? So you know, this is all within this idea of phased benefits, that we can get certain benefits quickly, certain benefits medium term, certain benefits long term. Um, so here's, a, here's, how we, um, here's how we measure what's happening in our, with, our, with our fundamentals pack, right? So if you went to that, that um, not, not good with mentabiotics, you went with the better option, the fundamentals option. This is what you could reasonably expect in 30 days time, 33 days time. Because what we did in this trial, we had people do the reboot three days, and then we had them supplement with the fundamentals, mentabiotics, meant to sync, meant to focus for 30 days. So what you're seeing here is the, the, the percentages are comparing day zero to day 34 after, after 33 days of that supplementation. And what you see is, you know, o over the course of that month, we saw a substantial change in the microbiome. Good bacteria went up, bad bacteria went down, but we measure that at 30 days because at two weeks, it's probably not enough of a change to be statistically significant in our research studies, right? So that's why we go over that, that time course of a, of, a, of a 30 day intervention. If you were really, really dysbiotic, right? If you had a lot of disruption in your microbiome, you had a lot of bad bacteria, you had a really low level of good bacteria, it's conceivable that you would go here at two weeks and here at 30 days and you're still not balanced enough. And so you might need to go six weeks or eight weeks or 10 weeks or 12 weeks in order to get to that balance point where you actually start to see what you see on this right hand side, which is a, a change in your psychology, a change in your mental wellness that you can actually feel and comment on, right? So that's something we can't predict for somebody. And that's something that that is, I know it's frustrating, you know, that there'll be people who feel better immediately and they're going to get on Facebook and they're going to get up in, th in front of rooms when we do our city tours and they're going to share their testimonials and you might be sitting there going, huh, that person feels that much better after two weeks on the Amari products. I've been on the products for two weeks and I don't feel anything yet. Uh, or somebody else get on the products for four weeks and they're wonderful or eight weeks and they're wonderful. And you could sit there going, I've been on for eight weeks. I don't feel wonderful. I feel the same as I did back at, at day zero, right? You, that's why we recommend to people to please, 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 please give the products an honest 90-day try, right? You don't have anything to lose. If you get to the end of 90 days and you think that the products are still not working for you, 
we'll give you your money back, right? We're, we're very honest about that sort of thing. Um, but you have to give it an honest try. You have to take it every day. You have to take them as directed. You have to you know, do all the things that we're recommending that you do so you can maximize the growth of that garden. Um, you know, it may be that you have more of a disruption here than somebody else, or you have less of a disruption here than somebody else. There's no way for us to really predict that sort of thing. Uh, and, but, we, but we do know that if people give it that try, they're gonna, they're gonna slowly move up that mental wellness continuum. I'm really mean guy. I recommend this to people sometimes. Let's say you've been on the products, fundamentals for example, for, for a month and you, and you don't feel anything. Try it for another, another month, still don't feel anything. Stop taking it, right? Um, I just said I want you to give it a 90 day try, but you might want to just stop taking it for a couple of days because one thing, I wish I had a whiteboard that I, could, that I could write this on, but one of the things having studied psychological vigor for about 20 years now, one thing that we see is if somebody starts here and they start going up in terms of how they feel, how their mood feels, humans for whatever reason aren't particularly good at discerning that I, I'm feeling better, I'm feeling better, I'm feeling better. Some people are very attuned to it, some people aren't. So you might be getting better, but you're not sensing it. If I tell you to stop taking the products and you start to slowly go back to where you were before, we're very attuned to feeling that. We're very attuned to feeling the worse, getting worse each day, especially if you've been on a trajectory of getting better. And so sometimes you can go off the products for a couple of days and go, oh, it was working. Okay, but what we really like people to do, because we don't know how out of balance you are, you might be that person that rebalances at a week. You might be that person that rebalances at a month. You might be that person that needs to go those 90 days before you see enough of a rebalancing, before you see these kinds of things. And when you see these kinds of things, it's, it's, um, sometimes it's difficult for people to, um, to enunciate what they're feeling. They know they generally feel better or sometimes they think that they're feeling better. A lot of times we'll see people who are like, I don't know if it's working for me. And there's literally their whole family is standing behind them going, yes, they're feeling better. It's working for them. Sometimes that happens that the individual doesn't sense it, but the people around them sense it in a, in a, in a, in a very noticeable way. This is one of the reasons that we measure using scientific techniques. This is this, this, these particular data are, are drawn from a psychological tool called profile of mood states so that we can quantify how people are feeling. And what you see from this is that if you change the microbiome in the very um, holistic, comprehensive ways that we are, good bacteria, bad bacteria, gut integrity, all of that kind of stuff, you get a comprehensive psychological outcome, right? People aren't just feeling better because their brain fog is lifting that we measure by this, by this confusion parameter. They're not feeling better just because their fatigue is going down. They're not feeling better just because their mood is better. They're feeling better because of all of that. And you might call that, you might call that overall well-being. Um, when, you, when you average all these together, it's actually a parameter that we call global well-being. Um, but, but you can see that people are feeling better in a holistic way. They're feeling better in lots and lots of different parameters. But sometimes it's hard for us to actually, you know, um, vocalize that, like how we're feeling better. Okay. So anyway, let me go on to what, what, what's on this next slide. So I talked about, I talked about the, um, about the different strains, right? That's a really, really important concept. You're not going to get these kinds of benefits that we're talking about in terms of mental wellness benefits from any old probiotic strain. It really is these specific clinically validated strains that we're using. And we, and we put them together at the levels that have been used in the clinical trials. Um, same thing when it comes to the prebiotic fibers. These prebiotic fibers are specifically chosen for their, their, their own benefits that they're gonna deliver, but then specifically they are matched up. I think I have this matchup slide. They're matched up, the fibers are matched to make sure that they're preferentially growing the kind of bacteria that we know are associated with these mental wellness benefits. But again, this is, a, this is sort of a four week effect. I'm gonna go back so I can say one thing here. These two um, uh, uh, prebiotic fibers, this one called bimuno, which is a galacto-oligosaccharide or a GOS, G-O-S. And this one, this sun fiber, which is a galactomannan, these have both been entered into 
clinical trials with, in, in people with autism just recently. Um, the the Bimuno study came out last summer around June or July. The Sunfiber trial came out um, last month in March. And what they showed was, um, and, and, and these are over the course of a eight to 12 weeks, right? So again, illustrating that sort of later stage effect where people with autism are a very classic example of a gut brain axis dysfunction. They have the behavioral problems, they have, um, they have irritability, uh, they have problems with social connections, they have problems with focus, they have problems with communication, right? All things that you would think would be brain issues. But they also, almost 100% of the time, also have gut issues. They have disruptions in their microbiome, they have leaky gut, they have gut inflammation, they have uh, inflammation throughout their entire body. Um, so changes in the, in the gut, changes in the axis, changes in the brain. What these two research studies did, this Bimuno study that came out over the summer was done in the UK. This Sun Fiber study that came out last month was done in, in Japan. They did basically the same intervention, <clears throat> which is to give people with autism, with that gut brain axis dysfunction, just the prebiotic. That's all they did. Gave them the prebiotic and monitored behavior over time. Over the course of that eight to 12 weeks, behavior improved as a result of the prebiotic fiber supplementation. And when you read the scientific papers, we can sit here in 2019 and go, huh, well, that makes perfect sense. You're getting a brain benefit because you're doing something in the gut. You're giving a fiber that's growing a different kind of bacteria. So the microbiome changes. As a result of that, the inflammation in the gut changes. As a result of that, you have better gut integrity. So you have an overall improvement in the gut. As a result of that, inflammation, cytokines, and signaling across the axis change. As a result of that, the behavior changes. Irritability goes down, food intolerances go down, uh, diarrhea uh, and, and, and constipation was improved. So you're seeing benefits at every stage of the gut-brain axis and the only intervention in these people was a change in fiber, right? So, so I, what I was starting to say is here in 2019, that makes perfect sense. And we can go through very scientifically and say, well, of course, 10 years ago, that would have seemed completely outlandish, right? How in the world would you think that giving fiber would change behavior in somebody with autism? Didn't make any sense. Logically, it was, it was, it, it, well, it was illogical because we didn't have that science of going, oh, microbiome, oh, gut integrity, oh, inflammation, oh, neurotransmitter signaling, oh, behavior issues. And now, now we understand that at a scientific level. So 10 years ago, it didn't make any sense. Now it makes a lot of sense. 10 years from now, it's going to be mainstream therapy, right? It's going to be the first thing you try when you have any of that gut brain axis dysfunction. You're gonna say, oh, I need the right bacteria. Oh, I need the right fibers. Oh, I need the right phytonutrients, right? We're on the early stages of that right now. That's why as a startup, it's so exciting to look at what we're doing and what we're seeing out there in terms of the benefits that we're getting. So, um, and I talked, about the, I talked about the phytonutrient piece of it. And we do this for kids, right? So those autism studies were, were kids specifically, um, but we can see these benefits across, everybody has a gut brain axis, everybody has stress, everybody is somewhere on that mental wellness continuum, and so everybody can benefit. People are gonna benefit in different ways, but everybody can benefit from moving up that mental wellness continuum by modulating their gut brain axis. So one of the reasons that fundamentals is such a good choice right there in that sort of sweet spot of good, better, best is because it is so comprehensive across each layer of the gut brain axis. So I've already talked about each of these. I'm not going to belabor the point, but you're doing the microbiome piece. You're doing the gut integrity piece. You're doing the immune system piece and the inflammation piece and the neurotransmitter piece, right? So across each one of those, we're rebalancing, 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 rebalancing. And, and again, they're coming on different phases. They're coming on different time courses, but they do come in due course when you stay adherence and, and, and compliant with using the products every day. So let me shift gears a little bit and talk a little bit about this product, our Mood Plus product. 
So this one is working, um, it's still in the gut brain axis, but it's, mo it's working mostly on the brain piece of it right now. And this is, it was a, this product was a finalist for botanical of the year, which is awesome. And the reason for that is that it's the, it's the most comprehensive, most scientifically based mood support product out there, hands down. It's the most comprehensive because when we talk about mood at Amare, we're not talking about just any one of these. We're talking about all of these. So in one product, you've got research validated branded ingredients that help with depression and resilience and tension and anxiety all in the same product. But each of these benefits is delivered on a different time course. And that's important to understand. So I want to walk you through that. So let's talk about this one. We use a, a, um, an herb called Refuma. You can see a picture of it here. We use a brand called Venetron. And like all the reasons that we, or all of the instances that we choose a branded ingredient, the reason we do that is because we already know there's a certain level of purity and potency and sustainability and all that kind of good stuff. But this is where the research has been done on that specific brand. I could go to China and I could find uh, some generic version of Refuma and throw that in the product and cross my fingers that it would work as well as Venetron. The reason that we use that branded version and pay a pretty penny for it, pay, 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 a, pay a premium for it, is because we know how it's grown, we know how it's extracted, we know where it's grown, we know, we know everything about it, including how it's gonna work in the body. So what you're looking at here is some data from one of the human clinical trials here looking at depression. So um, I showed you with the fundamentals trial, our psychology parameters were from a particular measurement called profile of mood states. That's kind of the gold standard way in people who are, who are what we call healthy stressed, people who aren't depressed, who don't have anxiety. It's the best way to measure mood changes in that group of people. If you have people who are depressed, the gold standard way to measure it is, is this. Um, HAMD stands for Hamilton Depression Index. So this is the same way that you know, Prozac and Zoloft and you know, that style medications are, are studied by the pharmaceutical companies. And so what you see here is that supplementation with Venetron over the course of four weeks is gonna reduce your depression by about 30%. Over the course of eight weeks, it's gonna reduce your depression by your depression by about 50%, right? So two months of supplementation cut your depression in half. That is life-changing for somebody who is in a state with, with you know, a high depression index. That's awesome. But I don't want people to wait four weeks to feel better. I don't want people to wait eight weeks to feel better. I wanna see if we can get them to feel better sooner. And so this is one way that we do that, right? While Venetron is having its effect in rebalancing your neurotransmitters over the course of those four to eight weeks, we can do something like this. We can give you another ingredient called Kana. We use a specific ingredient um, called Zembrin for the same reasons, purity and potency and sustainability. Here's the actual, here's, here it is growing out in the, in the South African desert. We actually cultivate it. We have a partner in South Africa. I've actually visited that farm and done clippings of the plants to do DNA analysis to make sure we have the right species and all that kind of stuff. Make sure we have the right level of bioactives and all those kinds of things. So, you know, the, the, the reason that we do that is because there's some anti-depression benefits of Venetron, but um, that come on the same time course as what you get with uh, um, with the, with the Refuma, with the, with, the, with the Venetron that I just talked about before. But here with, Zem, with Zembrin, you can also get an effect on one use, right? And the effect that you're getting isn't the anti-depression effect. The effect that you're getting is a different aspect of mental wellness, which is um, uh, uh, a reduction in your, in your stress, a reduction in your tension. And the way that that works is that on one usage, we can attenuate the reactivity of a part of the brain called the amygdala. So the amygdala is the area in the brain that fires when you're under stress or fires when you have a fear response, um, you know, like the fight or flight response, that's your amygdala fire, firing. And that, that puts you into that, into that sort of fright, that, that sort of panic situation. We can lower that down 
by using Zembrin one time. That's why something like Mood Plus, people can take it every single day to help with their depression, their overall mood, or they can take it once to help with their, with their stress, right? You can take mood, and we have people around the office who do this all the time. We're having a, you know, a, a, a group of leaders come in tomorrow. I guarantee before our presentations, we're all gonna be looking for a couple of mood capsules to just whew, take that fear response out before we go up and we, and we talk and we give our presentations, right? So you can get that, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know one, one usage, certain benefit, Everyday usage for a month, other benefits. Um, you can also, with Zembrin, as you take it over time, this is three-week data, you can see a change in something that we measure called cognitive flexibility. This is, another way of describing this would be an ability to have better impulse control, a, be, a better ability to, uh, to form strategic decisions in the face of stress, um, this is this is stress resilience right here. You know, so we can get an edge taken off your stress, one use. We can get an edge taken off your depression, daily use for four to six to eight weeks. Over three weeks, we can improve your stress resilience. So this is another way of describing stress resilience to people is that you can have a certain level of stress where, you know, it presents itself to you and you would literally, in your life, you would go, I can't deal with this right now, right? I just, I just don't have the bandwidth to, or the, or the, or the um, resources to deal with this. I'm out, right? That's low stress resilience. The same level of stress can present itself to you after three weeks of supplementing with Zembrin, and the same level of stress, now your response to that stress is different. Now, instead of stepping away and saying, I can't deal, you would step into it and say, all right, let's do this. Let's handle this, right? That is because your, your, your neurotransmitters are in a place where you're able to form different strategic solutions to that particular situation, right? Your stress resilience is improved. And that, I think, is one of the coolest effects because there's nothing that does that. No pharmaceutical is going to do that. Pharmaceuticals can be effective for certain people in masking their stress response, in masking their mood, in masking their anxiety. But all you're doing is taking a wet blanket and throwing it over there so that you're not feeling much of anything. This is a very, very unique effect where we're able to perform at a much higher level because of how this is rebalancing what's going on in your body. So that's important. We have a, a very specific brand of ashwagandha called Sensoril. Now, this is something where over the course of, uh, again, an acute usage, a day, two days, three days, you can see a change in your stress-related symptoms, right? Your, your subjective perception of stress is about 70% lower when you're, when you're taking ashwagandha. So this is helping to calm you in the face of stress. Um, that's something we can get very, very quickly, one, two, three days. Um, over the course of taking Sensoril every single day for a month, so again, four-week data, a different phase of benefits, now what you're starting to see is an actual change in your stress hormone parameters, right? So your, t your, your feeling of tension is down after a couple of days, but your metabolic response to tension is changed hormonally over the course of a month. So what you're looking at here is a 25% improvement in your cortisol levels, your primary stress hormone, and about a 30% change in the counter-regulatory hormone to cortisol, which is, here it's DHEA, sometimes we'll measure testosterone. When you're under chronic stress, what you very often see is cortisol levels go up, and DHEA levels go down, and that leads to more stress, it leads to weight gain, it leads to changes in your appetite, it leads to stress eating, it leads to neuronal changes, it leads to a wide variety of detrimental effects. And so what you wanna do is not just lower cortisol or just raise DHEA, you wanna normalize the balance between those, and that's exactly what you're seeing here over the course of continued usage over four weeks. Then we can go to this final one, which is, which, is, which is sort of a similar effect. This is four-week data that you're looking at here um, of the ingredient called Relora, which is a combination of magnolia bark and philodendron. This is improving those negative mood states are, are going down, 
positive mood state like vigor is going up. So remember, I showed you this profile of mood states data in response to fundamentals. Now I'm showing you profile of mood states data in response to mood plus. Okay, so you know you can decide: Are you going to come at it from a gut up perspective, or are you going to come at it from a brain down perspective? And sometimes people choose to do to do both of those. They choose to do fundamentals and add on mood plus, so that you get these benefits um, uh, sort of simultaneously because they're complementary. You know, they're working through different mechanisms. Let me talk about the phased benefits of Relief Plus. Okay, so here's another product that is working through different mechanisms to give certain quick benefits, certain medium benefits, certain long-term benefits. And so we talk about Relief Plus as a product that is fast acting and long lasting. And the way that we get that is by combining a very specific form of turmeric and a very specific form of Boswellia, along with some other complementary ingredients. But those are the two ingredients that I'm gonna focus on right now. When you take that, that, um, that turmeric extract that we use, we use a brand called Mariva. The reason we do that is because it's absorbed about 30 times better than an average turmeric that's out there. If you take just any old turmeric off the shelf, you're very likely to get an anti-inflammatory effect in the gut but it's not absorbed enough. Most turmeric is absorbed around 1% of what you ingest is absorbed into, this, into, the, into your overall systemic circulation. That's, that's a great effect to get anti-inflammatory benefits in the gut, but it's not enough of an absorption to get anti-inflammatory effects throughout the rest of your body, such as to your back or to your knee or to your elbow or wherever it is that you're, you know, that you're inflamed. Um, Mariva, because it's absorbed 30 times better, you will get enough of that absorption so that you can get a systemic anti-inflammatory effect and a systemic reduction in your pain. And so what you're seeing here is when you take something like, like relief, it's, it's comparable in the time course of getting rid of your pain to things like acetaminophen, which is Tylenol, um, and, uh, and, 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 and this drug, nimesulfide, which is uh, kind of like ibuprofen, right? So ibuprofen, Tylenol, those sorts of things work. They get rid of your pain, but you don't want to take Tylenol all the time. It's bad for your liver. You don't want to take ibuprofen all the time. It's bad for your kidneys. You don't want to take aspirin all the time. It's bad for your stomach and your, and your GI tract. So you can take something like turmeric and something like Boswellia, which is actually good for all of those tissues that I just mentioned, right? So you're not, so you're getting rid of your pain, but you're also doing something good and non-detrimental for your, for your tissues. What you're looking at here is a gradation of the, of, the, of the pain scales based on time. And so what you're looking at here, you can see in the fine print down here, if you have a score of zero, the pain is absent. A score of one, the pain is slightly perceptible, two, it's mild, three, it's severe, four, it's intolerable. And so what you're seeing here is people are starting out with intolerable, intoler, intolerable pain. And over the course of not a long time, one, two, three hours, you're seeing the pain come down to about the 2.5. So in this sort of mild to severe range, right? That means that you're able to function. You weren't able to function back here. Now you're able to function after an hour or two. What's really cool is that when you use it again, the effect is even better. How in the, how in the world can that be? And people experience this all the time. They'll take relief and they'll go, yeah, it worked. And then they'll take it the next day and they'll go, huh, seems like it worked better. And they'll take it the next day and they'll say, huh, it worked really well. And they'll take it the next day and they'll go, maybe I don't need to take this anymore right? Because now maybe you started with three capsules and then you went to two capsules and then you went to one capsule as sort of a maintenance thing. And the reason that that's happening is because of this. The two products, the turmeric that we use, Mariva, and the Boswellia that we use, a brand called Casperome, because they're absorbed so much better than, than comparable products out there on the market, what you're getting is um, you're getting a, a, a system-wide effect on each of those, and they're different effects. The system-wide effect here of, of turmeric is that it includes a whole family. I'm only showing you curcumin here, but it has a whole family of curcuminoids, these compounds that will block the activity 
of inflammatory enzymes that are there now. So think about this. You're over-inflamed. That inflammation is leading to pain. You take a well-absorbed turmeric like Mariva. Those curcuminoids are absorbed into your system at a level that blocks all of those inflammatory enzymes that are there now so your pain goes away, right? Awesome, right? Your pain is left less. Your pain now is tolerable or mild or non-existent. You're blocking the inflammatory enzymes that are there, so your pain lessens. That's awesome. Unfortunately, the body is going to produce more of those inflammatory enzymes later. So you blocked them now. You got a fast-acting pain relief. But what happens tomorrow? Aren't those guys going to be right back again, and you're going to have to take more uh, um, uh, turmeric to give you more curcuminoids to do the blocking effect again. Well, if you formulate the product the right way, and now we're using Boswellia, we're using the Casperome version, 30 times better absorbed version of Boswellia. Now you can get this effect where we're slowing the production of the next round of inflammatory enzymes. So turmeric, Mariva is blocking what's there. So your pain goes away now. Uh, Casperone, the Boswellia, is turning down the faucet so you're not producing as many the next day, so you have less to block. And you're not producing as many the next day, so you have even less to block. And you're not producing as many the next day, so you have even less to block. So what we're doing is giving you a fast-acting effect now to help you function, and then it's getting better and better and better because we're putting you in a better inflammatory balance going forward. Okay, so that's why we like people to start off with a little bit more relief so they get, the, they get the fast benefits and the relief, and then it's getting better and better and better, and sometimes they can taper off and then go to sort of more of a, more of a maintenance dose. So that's how that's working. And here's some of the data about, you know, one page, why this product is different. We have the exclusive on Mariva and Casperone, 30 times better absorption, get rid of the pain now, get rid of the pain for, for, for coming back later. Okay, so um, this kind of an idea, why is relief different? Why is fundamentals different um, on this next slide? Why is sleep plus different? Um, in this slide deck that you have the ability to download yourself, uh, what I've done is each of the products has several slides, right? Um, what are the key benefits? What are the key ingredients? Um, you, know, uh, uh, you know, how is it, you know, what, how does it stand out from the crowd? but each one of those um, product sections ends with a slide like this to give you just a couple of bullet points that you can use for your customers to say, you know what, there's a zillion turmeric extracts out there. The reason ours is different is because of these bullet points, right? There's a zillion sleep products out there. Ours is different because of these bullet points. There's a zillion probiotics out there. Ours is different because of these bullet points, right? It gives you a very, um, concise and targeted way to show why our products are significantly different. And because of that, why they work so much better than other things that are out there. So why, why is Sleep Plus different? Um, we, have the, we have the exclusive on this patented corn grass extract called Maisonol. This is a 30 times more potent corn, corn grass extract than anything else that's out there. The reason that we want this is because this is giving us a building block that the body will use to make more serotonin, which is gonna give us a mood benefit, and make more melatonin, which is gonna give us a sleep quality benefit. So there is not another product on the market that improves sleep quality to the level that we do. And what I'm talking about here is 40% improvement in sleep quality. So you're spending more time in REM sleep, which is where your brain recovers, and more time in deep sleep, which is where your body recovers, right? So if people can't get eight hours of sleep, I, I still want you to do that. If you can get eight hours of high quality sleep, awesome. If you can only get six hours of high quality sleep, that's still better than six hours of low quality sleep. Um, here, let me, let me try to mute everybody. It looks like there's someone who's causing a little bit of noise there. So anyway, this is a very, very different kind of product. We don't give you melatonin. We don't try to knock you out and make you drowsy. You'll fall asleep faster with this, about 30% faster than a, than a control situation. But the real reason is that we have, this, we have this dual benefit here of mood benefits in the day and sleep quality benefits in the evening. No other product is going to deliver that kind of thing. How is Energy Plus different, right? Somebody could look at this and go, 
Oh, an energy drink, I've got Red Bull. Uh, an energy drink, I've got Starbucks. An energy drink, I've got Monster, or whatever they're gonna go for. None of those things are gonna give you three-tiered energy. So you're here in this product, you're getting physical energy, sometimes you call that motivation. You're getting mental energy, you might call that focus. But uniquely, you're getting this mental awareness effect, which is like being able to take that energy and do something with it, right? Being able to take that energy and connect it to actual useful work. And that useful work might be actual work, like exercise. It might be work like, you know, a deadline that you're working on, you know, with your, you know, getting through all your emails or, you know, finishing a report at work or something like that, or studying or writing a term paper. But it also might be just something like, you know, instead of being exhausted at the end of the day and having to just lie down on the couch and put your feet up and watch Netflix, now you've got the motivation and the focus, and you want to spend that, you want to connect that with a hobby or with your family or with volunteer work or whatever you want to do. So you're not going to get that kind of stuff from any other energy drink. In fact, a lot of those energy drinks will be anti your ability to focus. They'll be anti your ability to connect because they're so high on the stimulation side, whether it's whether it's like um, stimulant stimulation, like caffeine and things like that, or it's sugar stimulation, um, that sometimes you get so much of that stimulation, you're kind of like this, where now you can't focus and now you can't be engaged because you're like, you're almost, you're almost crawling out of your skin because you're too overly stimulated. This really brings all of those different pieces of energy, physical energy, mental energy, mental awareness, all different types of energy together in a, in a, in a concerted way and a focused way. Why is our digestive product different, right? There's a, there's, a, there's a zillion digestive enzyme products out there. And I have people who have used digestive enzyme products that are much, much higher in certain enzyme counts. There's all kinds of ways that we can measure the potency of a particular digestive enzyme. Um, and you'll see, you'll see how, we, how we do that on ours, but ours isn't particularly high in digestive enzyme potency. It's about where it needs to be in terms of like that sort of middle zone. So you, you digest your carbohydrates and your proteins and your fats and you do good digestion in your stomach and your intestines and you know throughout your whole intestinal tract. But one of the reasons that it's really different is this last one, this digestive performance blend, that this is gonna help empty the stomach and move the food through your GI tract at an appropriate speed so that, the, so that the environment of your gut is better. So you're not feeling bloated, you're not feeling acidy, you're not feeling reflux, you're not feeling you know, any of that constipation or diarrhea or rumbling or gas or any of that kind of stuff. That changes the environment of the gut, which makes you feel good right after your meals. Once you do that on a consistent basis, meal to meal to meal, day to day to day, week to week to week, the entire pH of your gut changes. So now you're acidic in the places you're supposed to be acidic, you're neutral where you're supposed to be neutral, and you're basic or non-acidic in the places where you're supposed to be. That's important because if your pH gets out of whack, you're too basic in places you're supposed to be acidic or you're too acid in places where you're supposed to be non-acid. What ends up happening is your digestion is not good. Um, you have a lot of gastrointestinal symptoms and you might start to grow things that you're not supposed to grow. You might grow bacteria in places where it's not supposed to be. That's called SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. You might start growing yeast in places where it's not supposed to be, which is really anywhere. Um, and so setting up that environment can make sure that we're growing the things we want, good bacteria in the microbiome, which is the lower part of the digestive tract. It can make sure that we're, we're having the right balance of microflora in the gut so that we're not getting things like heartburn and reflux and things like that. And that when in the, in the middle part, the small intestine part of the GI tract, we're not growing nasty things like the wrong kinds of bad bacteria or candida or things like that. So this is something where, that really sets our product apart that it's not just digestion, it really is 
in, in sort of, in, you know, environmental stewardship of our entire gastrointestinal tract, okay? Um, how's our superfood different, right? This superfood is something that people are going to look at and go, well, wait a minute. Right away, I can get three servings of fruits and vegetables in that product. So there, I'm done. But you're not done. Because over time, what you're also seeing is an increase in the production of these heat shock proteins. That's going to enable your cells to protect themselves from whatever stress that they encounter. Stress from poor diet, stress from stress, psychological stress, stress from breathing polluted air, you know, environmental stresses, et cetera, et cetera. We, the cells will protect themselves better because they're making more heat shock proteins. That, once it starts happening, times all 10 trillion cells in your body, what you'll actually feel is an anti-stress effect. So that happens over the course of time, but people will sense that about 30 minutes after Drinking, drinking this product, right? You'll feel an edge come off your stress because of that stimulation of production of these heat shock proteins. You'll also see over time, you see this other, this other bullet point about um, enhancing autophagy. This is a process by which cells clean themselves up. This is like a internal cellular housekeeping sort of a thing where the cell will identify dysfunctional proteins and broken cell membranes and things like that. And you're able to go in and enhance that repairing process. You won't necessarily feel this for several weeks because you're not going to have enough of a, of a change in that tissue turnover, enough enhancement of that tissue rebuilding and tissue reparative rejuvenation for, for, you know, for, for a period of several weeks. But it's happening at the cellular level very, very quickly. Um, why is seed fiber different, right? So seed fiber, you're getting fiber from, from these seeds and immediately you're going to start to get an improvement in your gut integrity. Immediately, you're going to start to get a nourishment of that microbiome. But remember, you're not going to notice that effect of the microbiome change for three or four or six weeks, right? Again, the idea of the garden growing. One thing that you will notice very uh, acutely, usually the day that you take it, is this effect of microRNA signaling. Um, so one of the ways that your microbiome signals to the rest of the body is through this, through this concept called microRNAs. One of those ways that, so microRNAs do, do lots of signaling. One of the ways that they're signaling is by, um, is to activate um, or, or, or change the expression of our genes what genes are turned on, what genes are turned off. That's something you're not going to feel necessarily, but you might reap a physical health benefit of that weeks and months down the road. Something that you are going to feel is this. Part of that microRNA signaling goes to the anxiety centers of the brain. So this is one way that the microbiome talks to the centers of the brain that are involved in anxiety. And what you'll sense is an attenuation of that anxiety signal, which basically means now your anxiety signals, the edge is taken off of that. So different than superfood, superfood is working on your stress and tension, seed fiber is working on your anxiety, right? So those are, those are different. Sometimes there's overlap between them, but they're distinctly different signaling pathways that we're able to positively modulate through these products that we're giving, okay? So you can see that there's early stage benefits there, and the later stage benefits there. And you know, you're gonna get them on those, on those different time courses. Um, so I wanna talk a little bit about Project B3. So we started talking about mentabiotics as a good option, and then we morphed into fundamentals as the better option. And then on the slides that I started with, Project B3 was the best option um, because it incorporates, you know, the mentabiotics and the full fundamentals and, uh, and, and, and now the functional foods that I just talked about a second ago, seed fiber and, and, uh, and superfood. Um, in our project B3, um, this is typically a four week intervention. You know, when you buy a project B3 kit, it's, 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 it's four weeks of supplements. Sometimes people will do that twice and they'll do eight weeks of supplementation. Um, we did a pilot program last holiday season, the end of last year. We ran it through November and December, the highest stress time of year, 
the time of year that most people gain weight, five to 10 pounds, sometimes 15 pounds, uh, and the time of year where people don't have a lot of time, right? Where they're very time starved because of everything that's going on. And so we, 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 we wanted to do that specifically to see if we could help people feel better in terms of lower stress, lower tension, lower anxiety, and we did. We wanted to see if we could help people not gain weight, and we did. We actually had a lot of people who lost weight at that holiday period when most people gain weight. And we wanted to see that if people who are time starved and don't have the bandwidth to add another thing, could they also do it? Was it easy enough for them to do? And on all three of those parameters, we got amazing, amazing benefits. And so you can, you can, you can see those right here, right? I'm not gonna go through all these bullet points. These are here for you to dig into. Um, but what we, what we see here is um, when people go on the Project B3, it is a classic example of phased benefits. And I can tell you that specifically because we just finished a clinical trial on the Project B3 system, where we recruited a group of people, we followed them over time. Um, we actually went seven weeks this time, um, just because of you know when we needed to collect the baseline data, when we needed to collect the final data. But what we saw in that, and so in that trial, and you'll see the results of this coming out in, in, a, uh, in the next couple of weeks, we measured microbiome, we measured body composition, so body fat levels and muscle mass levels and body weights and things like that. But we also measured stress hormones like cortisol. We measured um, uh, like metabolic changes like uh, glucose levels. We measured cholesterol levels. Uh, we measured psychology, of course. Um, but at the end of that uh, eight, eight weeks, I really pointed to people and I said, did you guys realize what happened here? And what they, you know, most people did that, after one week, we had a certain subset of people who were following the program who came back at week one and went, oh my gosh, I can't believe how good I feel. My energy is good. My, my motivation is good. Um, I, I just, I'm, 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 I'm feeling amazing, right, at one week. And they might have been really feeling the anti-tension benefits, the relaxed alertness benefits, those sorts of things. But they were feeling, their testimonial was, I feel amazing. Little subset of people. The rest of the people were sitting there going, wait a minute, I'm not feeling that. I f it's, we're one week in, I feel exactly the same way I did at day zero. Here we are at day seven, I haven't noticed anything. Uh, and then we came to week two, and there was a bigger subset of people who now were saying, hey, just like those people at last week, I'm feeling that now, right? And then at week three, there were more people. And then at week four, there were more people. And then week five, more people. And at week seven, on the very last class of the program, I asked people, I'm like, look, we can't tell you what your microbiome looks like. That's at the laboratory now. We can't tell you what your stress hormones levels look like. That's at the laboratory. We need to analyze all the other things and apply our statistics and everything like that. But how many people are feeling something? You know, share your 100% of the hands, right? Everybody at that point was feeling better. And some people like dramatically better where they were like, I'm a different person now because of what I've been through. But I, 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 I tell you that story to illustrate the point that that is phased benefits. Not only are, are, are people getting different benefits at different points, time course, but different individuals are experiencing those benefits at different cadences. And there's no way for us to predict who's gonna be an early responder or a middle responder or a late responder. But what we can say is that if you stick to it, like I recommended at the very beginning, if you're consistent with the products and if you take them and give them an honest try over that one month, over that two months, over those three months, you're going to get those benefits, right? And, and, and let, let's be honest with everybody. Nothing is 100% for 100% of the people. There are always going to be outliers where, you know, for whatever reason, somebody isn't experiencing it, somebody has a, you know, a, 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 an intolerance to one of the ingredients, right? So we can never say carte blanche, this is always going to help everybody all the time but we have a pretty darn good track record, as you can see with the, with the data that we collected over this pilot program. So you're gonna see, you're gonna see more data coming out from this, from this trial that we did, but I just wanna end with the same slides that I started with. 
when you come in, you've got the option to say, do I want good effects? Do I want better effects? Do I want best effects? Um, do I, you know, here's how the cadence of these benefits is likely to manifest itself in you if you choose just mentabiotics. If you want to get that benefit and build onto it, you can do it with fundamentals. If you want to get those benefits and build onto it with a, with a, with a, a larger suite of benefits, you can do Project B3. And, and here's a slide uh, that marketing's prepared to us to put all of them on the same one. So people can sort of, you know, compare and contrast and see sort of, you know, where am I on that mental wellness continuum? Where do I want to go? What product pack or what product usage or what product combination is most likely to get me there? Um, and so it, it really is, you know, I, I, I start all my presentations with this mental wellness continuum and I end all my presentations with this mental wellness continuum because what we want people to realize is that, you know, there is hope out there to get you to feel better again. One of the, one of the things that I feel like I legitimately feel sad about this on a, on a regular basis that there's so many people out there who have just given up because they've felt so bad for so long and they've tried so many things that didn't work. In fact, we, I, I, I had a conversation in this very room earlier today um, with a, with a, with a, uh, uh, a military veteran. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details of who he is or what he does or anything like that, but um, multiple tours in Iraq, um, you know, uh, special forces, you know, all this kind of stuff. And we were just talking about how, you know, in that particular situation, there's so many people who need so much help and just don't have access to things, right? Think, think, think about the things that we have access to right now. Antidepressant drugs, ADD kinds of drugs, sleep drugs, uh, anti-anxieties, energy drinks, junk food, alcohol, you know, none of those things are going to get us from wherever we are on this mental wellness continuum to feeling optimized, right? They're going to change the way we feel, but they're not going to help us feel good. And sometimes people have been through all of those ineffective, inadequate options. They just kind of throw up their hands and go, well, I guess I'm just going to feel terrible always this is this is my this is my lot in life this is my this is my this is my situation and what we want people to realize is that how you feel is not just in your head it's it's also in your gut it's also in your microbiome that idea of the gut brain axis plays such a predominant role in our mental and physical health and performance at every single level and now because amari is you know in the market now for a year and a half or so we're able to do something naturally and effectively and comprehensively to meet you wherever you are and move you up that mental wellness continuum. And some of those benefits are gonna be immediate. Some of those benefits are gonna be a little bit later stage. Some of those benefits you're, you're, you're gonna have to commit to, to get because they might be four weeks out or six weeks out or eight weeks out, but they're, but they're going to come as you, as you rebalance all of those different layers, okay? So with that, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna come up here and stop my share and see where we are. Look at that, we've got, we've got a little bit of time left. I think I went, that was the longer one than typical. Usually we try to go through these in about an hour, but what I wanted to do is give you a lot of content there. And I'm gonna go over here and open up this chat box and see if there's a couple of questions in here. Oh, there's only one question, um, but it's a long question. So let me look at this one real quick. Um, I'm happy to stay here for a little while and answer questions if people want to unmute themselves and ask a question. But let me see what this says in here from, uh, from Cheryl Lynn. Um, several questions about ingredients. Um, many people have the same questions, A Team Wellness Group. All right, first is, can you explain the stevia in the product? Is it pure stevia without things like maltodextrin, et cetera? Um, will there ever be an option without stevia? Um, okay, so let me answer that one first. Um, so we have several products that use stevia. And the reason we do that is because we wanna lower the sugar load as much as possible. So if you look at Mentabiotics, Kids Fundamentals, Kids Vita GBX, um, superfood, our proteins, our energy drink. These are all things that, that 
are, have flavor, right? These are things that you have to, you know, it, it, drink or, you know, ingest that way. They're not capsules. And so we have to flavor it somehow. We have to sweeten it somehow because we tried. You can't give those nutrients without any sweetener. You know, they're, they're, you, you, would, you would spit it out, right? And people, our testers spit it out. Um, a lot of the ingredients we use are so bitter, so organic, they have to have that, that, that sweetness profile, right? And so we could give you sugar, but people don't want sugar these days. So we're, what, 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 what we try to do is minimize our usage of sugar and we use stevia to do that. One of the problems with using stevia is that if you don't use the right extract of the stevia, so stevia for people who don't understand what that is, it's a plant. The stevia leaf is sweet, but the stevia leaf is also bitter. Uh, so there's a sweetness front note and there's a bitter back note. And depending on how you extract that stevia leaf, you can, you can sometimes completely get a sweet flavor. Sometimes you get a very bitter flavor. And sometimes with the kinds of ingredients that we're using in these, a lot of these phytonutrients, sometimes you can make their bitterness of those actives even more bitter if you're using the wrong kind of stevia. So it isn't just that we use stevia, we use different types of stevia depending on which product, depending on which bioactives that we're trying to you know, um, give, give people a good taste. So in one product, we might use a certain kind of stevia at a certain level. In another product, that one might not work. And so we use a different kind of stevia at another level. And we always try to use the lowest, lowest amount possible to get the effect that we're looking for, which is, which is good taste. So we use pure stevia extracts. There are different types of extract and different types of potency, but we don't fill back with maltodextrin or any of those kinds of fillers that can be used. It's pure stevia leaf extract, but they're different depending on each product. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully that answers, answers your question. Will there ever be an option without stevia? Maybe. We're looking at that now. Um, so, uh, you know, right now the biggest demon out there for most consumers is sugar. Sometimes people will look at a label and there'll be one gram of sugar and they'll just go, nope, can't do it. So, you know, we get it, right? People don't want sugar. There's some people who don't want stevia, you know? And so what we, what we may do, and, you know, we'll see how the company grows and if we can, if we can support this through, you know, having bigger inventory, you know, maybe we have sugar versions for people who will tolerate that. And we'll have stevia versions for people who can tolerate that. And then people can make that choice of, do I want to do the stevia one or do I want to do the sugar one? You know, we always get people who say, I want nothing. I want no sugar. I want no stevia. No, you don't. You can't take that product. And I, I, I know you think you're tough, uh, but you can't. We've tried it. With the bioactives that we're using at the potency that we're delivering, you can't, you would spit it out no matter how tough you think you are. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's, that's, that's where that one is. There was a question here too about um, natural flavors. Most natural flavors are highly processed. Um, so look at our, look at our document. Uh, we have a specific document in the resources section about where our natural flavors come from. They're coming from things like vanilla bean, cocoa beans, um, fruit extracts, uh, you know, pomegranate extract, lime fruit extract. You can see where all of those different things are. Same, same, same as what I just said for stevia. We're using very, um, you know, natural, appropriate ones. Sometimes a particular lime extract will work in one product, but not another product. You know, so we, so we really do, um, you know, go to that level to say like, oh, this one works, this one doesn't work. And we do lots and lots of iterations, taste tests, to make sure that we get the right, the right one. So we have that all laid out for you um, with the, you know, what our natural flavors actually are. And what we're probably going to do, you know, on our labels, you know, we'll very often just put natural flavors because that's what labeling regulations uh, recommend that you do. You know, you might have, so our energy drink, for example, our natural flavors in our energy drink are coming from pomegranate extract and uh, pomegranate fruit extract and lime fruit extract, right? Lime fruit extract, pomegranate fruit extract, 
that six words to put on a small label versus two words, natural flavors, right? So we're looking at the layouts and things like that. So if we can actually go back um, on label updates and instead of saying natural flavors, we'll actually have the space to put what the actual natural flavors are. We're gonna list all those out so people have a, you know, they don't have to look at it and go, natural flavors, are they trying to hide something? We're absolutely not trying to hide anything. That's why we put out documents like that where we, where we show you exactly what all those natural flavors are in all the products. Um, so, so yeah, they don't in, include excitotoxins. They don't include anything synthetic. They don't include, you know, somebody said to me one time, they're like, well, you know, MSG, monosodium glutamate, you know, could, can, can be listed as a natural flavor. You wouldn't do that. I'm like, of course we wouldn't do that, right? That goes against everything that we founded this company on, you know, so that would just be so antithetical to, 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 to what we're doing. Um, um, and then there's a question about the rice. So the rice that we're using in our products isn't rice like you think of it, right? Um, it is rice extract. So sometimes we use rice bran. Sometimes we use something that we just call rice extract. It's, it's a, it's a, polysaccharide it's a sugar chain from the from the rice plant um, sometimes we use rice hulls and the reason that we're using those is because those are uh, hands down the most clean pure excipients that we can use to make our capsule products right you have to use an excipient um, a lot so here's uh, what would be a good example um, our relief plus is a really good example of this um, turmeric and uh, Boswellia are really sticky. In order for us to ensure that every single individual capsule has the right amount of turmeric and the right amount of Boswellia, so you get the right amount of pain relief and anti-inflammatory control, we need to make sure that each capsule has precisely the right ratio of those ingredients, of all the ingredients. If we were to use no excipients, you couldn't do that. You'd get some capsules with a lot of, of anti-inflammatory effect. You'd get some capsules with, with a little anti-inflammatory effect. You'd get a very inconsistent um, benefit profile. You know, sometimes it would work. Sometimes it wouldn't work. Sometimes it would work well. Sometimes it would work poorly. That concept goes for every single product. So to make sure that you get that right consistency of efficacy in every single capsule, you need something to help the active ingredients move through the encapsulation machinery and into the capsules at the right levels and at the right speed and at the right everything, right? There's a whole mechanical science around that. And so most companies will end up using things, synthetic things like silicon di dioxide, um, uh, magnesium stearate, like all these kinds of things that you really wouldn't want to put in your body but they have to use something to get these ingredients to move through the machinery so it's not gumming everything up and leading to inconsistent dosing and things like that. We use these, these rice extracts because they're really clean, they're really pure. Unfortunately, they're expensive, but we think that that is a really good place to spend money in order to give people something that, that, they, that they really wanna put into their bodies. If somebody has a problem with rice, they, you know, they, they take rice out of their diet for a particular reason. What they're probably having a problem with is, is, the, is the proteins in rice. Um, and so that isn't going to be a problem for them with this because the extracts that we're using are like I was saying, rice bran, um, uh, rice hulls, you know, but it's not the rice protein that they probably have a problem with. So I think that... Um, and same, same with the same with the grain idea. You know, you're not you're not you're not getting that you know uh, um, protein problem with that. Um, and so uh, yeah, so people ask us about like why 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 don't you use sprouted rice or sprouted or for, fermented rice? That really refers to a different usage of rice as a food or as a carbohydrate source or as a protein source. We're using minuscule minuscule amounts of this as a flow agent basically. Okay. So it really is a really sort of a different consideration. Um, let me see what Heidi's got in here. Uh, mentioned the Nutra award. Would you explain why the criteria and why fundamentals won the award for best finished product? Yeah, sure. So yeah, we were really excited that, um, that fundamentals pack, 
that, that coordinated gut brain access system. Um, we were excited that it was even nominated for the Nutra Award because the Nutra Award is given every year to that year's best new finished product. So across the entire natural products industry, what was the best product introduced this year? So we were nominated for that in 2018, last year. Um, we were excited because a, no startup has ever been even nominated for that award. So we, were, we felt pretty good that as a startup, right out of the gate, our first you know, sort of flagship product was nominated for the biggest award in the entire natural products industry. And then when we got it, oh my gosh, we were, we were over the moon because the criteria that they judge on is the ingredients and the science and the marketing and the packaging and the education program and all that kind of stuff. But what they really try to do is choose a product that is an emerging category. And the judges made a big deal about the fact that not only is Amari introducing this new category of gut brain access and mental wellness, but leading it. And this is gonna be something that's just gonna grow and grow and grow in the natural products space for, for decades and decades to come. It's where the new science is. And we were the first ones to sort of, you know, put a, put a, put a foothold there and really, really introduce it to the world. So that's the reason, that's the reason that we want it. Um, I, will, and I will put a little plug in here right now for anybody who's on this call, please, please, please get out to our Heart to Heart Symposium in September out here in Anaheim. We're gonna be launching another product that I think is gonna introduce another new category in the natural product space that is mental wellness oriented, but works through different tissue systems that's gonna do the same thing for what we did with gut brain axis and mental wellness. We're gonna be doing something else in mental wellness that's introducing an entirely new category. So, um, you know, just as excited about that. So I won't tell you anymore. Um, let me see, Paul is asking, let's say someone tries fundamentals for three months and they don't notice a positive change, would they be entitled to a refund? Yeah, I think they would. I think they could call customer experience and say, look, this is what I did and you, know, you guys have a money back guarantee, so you know, do that. I think what this person would, would, would probably notice though is that if they were taking that fundamentals every single day for three months and they're like, I don't think it's doing anything for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to send it back. I'm going to get a refund. Um, I think very soon after that, I bet the next week they would go, uh-oh, I think I was experiencing a benefit. And I didn't, I didn't notice this, but I sure as heck noticed this. This is why people get nervous sometimes when, you know, if, if they ever say to me, I don't think I'm feeling it. I'll go, okay, stop taking it. Maybe you're not feeling it, right? Very noncommittal to them. And they almost 100% of the time come back and go, you know what? I was feeling it, right? And, and that, that's what I was trying to describe before. Humans, for whatever reason, are sometimes not good at sensing our, our, our improvements, but we are good at sensing our, 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 our slide off of that, okay? So, you know, you can, you can have somebody do that. But like I said before, I wish we could be 100% all the time. And, and you know, if we're, if we're 90%, I'll take that. Um, I've heard Bre uh, Brenda saying, I've heard that refrigerated pro and prebiotics are better than non-refrigerated. <clears throat> nope, that's actually wrong. Um, it's actually opposite that. The refrigerated ones, people, people have this misconception. They go into the health food store and they see the refrigerated probiotics over there and they're really expensive. Um, and it, it's expensive because you have to have a case and you have to play, pay electricity and they have to be shipped on ice uh, or at least a cold pack, right? There's a lot of expensive logistics to have those products. But the reason that they have to be kept cold is because those particular strains are fragile. They're not robust. They're not resilient. Um, the kinds that we're using, the strains that we're choosing, just so happen to be stable at room temperature. In fact, they're stable at more than room temperature. You could take our mentabiotics and put it in a UPS truck in Arizona in July, and you would still have excellent viability, excellent shelf life, even after that level of stress. So um, I talked a little bit earlier about, the, about the, the, the strain specificity. The reason that we're giving you three specific strains 
one for depression, one for anxiety, one for stress in Mensa Biotics and in Kids Fundamentals. Um, the benefits are dependent on the strain, but also the storage conditions are dependent on the strain and the delivery parameters are dependent on the strain. So another question that I'll get sometimes is that people say, well, why don't you have to refrigerate those? It's because these strains have, have that robustness. They have that, they have that temperature stability. Sometimes people will say, well, wait a minute. I thought that probiotics would get killed in the stomach acid. Um, how come yours aren't, you don't do something special with them? Well, what, we do something special with them. We micro encapsulate them so they have longer shelf life, but they don't need to be protected by the stomach acid. The three strains that we're using survive stomach acid wonderfully well. We don't have to do anything special in terms of putting them into a acid resistant capsule or anything like that. We do that with our probiotic product. We, you'll notice that that's a capsule product because the five strains that we have in there, two of those strains are somewhat susceptible to damage in a, in a, in a, in a high acid environment, in a low pH environment. And so those two strains, you know, we, 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 we do wanna have 100% viability. So we put that in an acid resistant capsule that's gonna pass through your stomach acid and release in the lower part of the of the gastrointestinal tract where those bacteria are gonna are gonna populate. So you know we've taken these kinds of things into consideration, but it's all driven by what strains you're using. If if for, for you know for some reason I get really excited about a particular strain for some mental wellness benefit sometime in the future, and we find that that strain has to be refrigerated. We'll, you know, we'll figure out what the logistics of that look like. We'll probably have to keep it in the warehouse in a refrigerated, uh, you know, cubicle. We'll have to ship it on, you know, on cold packs. We're, you know, we might even have to do, other, you know, other things like that. But we're not in that situation right now because of the specific strains that we're using. Dr. Um, Talbot? Yeah. Hey, it's Eddie. Uh, yeah, I, go ahead, Eddie. My hey, my message, I'll see you Saturday, by the way. Awesome. Uh, my uh, message is private, so please don't read it out loud. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So. Okay. Let me see if I can do that. Um, hold on one second. Um, okay. Let me see what else is in here. Um, there's that, there's that. Some of these are not questions, they're just comments. Um, oh, Heidi, yeah, this is a, this is a good question. Um, so Heidi had to stop. Um, Heidi, I, I, in fact, Heidi, why don't you unmute yourself and explain this to people? I think this is, I think this is a really important um, uh, uh, nuance of, of product usage, if you're still there. I am. Hello. Okay. Yeah, this is, I've heard you tell this story before. I, I think this is important for people to understand. Okay, so um, it was the beginning, about six weeks after I began with Amare in the fall of 2017, and I had to get a blood test because I wanted my thyroid doctor to take a look at my thyroid because I was on levothyroxine, and I, I heard people were coming off of thyroid meds. So he said, he'll take my blood, but I have to come off all Amare. He knew what I was taking, the supplements, and he said, I want a baseline. So I, I want to know your blood is, doesn't have anything in it of supplements. So um, it was before Thanksgiving in November, and I came off um, for a week, and Saturday to Saturday. So yeah. as soon as I came off about three days in, my brain fog came back, which incidentally, I didn't even know I had brain fog until I went on the fundamentals and didn't have it anymore. But now when I came off it, I could get... I was confused a little and I could definitely feel the brain fog come back, but my cravings were huge. Right. And it was right before Thanksgiving and it, I was going into Thursday and I'll tell you, I hadn't eaten sugar for six weeks and cravings like that. And the cravings were in, immediate and intense. And I went to Thanksgiving. I had tiramisu. I had apple pie and ice cream. I had, I mean, it was like pour a bowl of sugar down my throat. I don't yep. even know. I hadn't even eaten sugar like that before, but as soon as I came back on Saturday, I went to the hospital and the <laughs> emergency, they took my blood um, because I had the lab 
And I was like, I was addicted to something good now. Like, right. <laughs> give me back my fundamentals. Right. That's awesome. So, so you really experienced that, that, that coming off, you know, you, you know, so, and, 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 you know, I, I, I should say too, if you come off the products, it's not like all the gains that you've had completely go away. Right. You know, the ones that came early are going to go early. The ones that took longer are going to take longer. You know, so people ask me this sometimes too. Thanks for sharing that Heidi. Um, sure. People will say like, well, what if I get on the products and I feel better and then for whatever reason, I need to go off of them or I stop taking them. You know, I'm like, well, if you haven't changed anything else in your life, if you still have the same stress and the same poor sleep patterns and the same poor diet and the same, you know, exposure to the world that caused you to get out of balance in the first place, you haven't changed any of that. You're going to slowly go back to that state of imbalance and you're going to start to feel crappy again. Right. So that just that just makes perfect sense. It's not like, you know, it's not like you're going to get these benefits and then fall off a cliff in terms of all those benefits going away the next day. You know, but, you know, what we hope people will do is use the supplements as a way to get themselves rebalanced. And then once they're rebalanced, they go, huh, I am going to cut down my sugar. I am going to eat more fiber. I am going to get more exercise. I am going to, you know, help with my, you know, do something with my sleep patterns, you know? So, you know, it's all, it's all the, all the sort of collection of things that we're trying to do. To so your point, a year and a half later, I had to go off for a colonoscopy. I even emailed product questions doc at Amari to say, Michael, Dr. Sean, do I really need to go off? And Michael said, yes, follow the doctor. You do need to come off it for the colonoscopy because they don't want any false reads. Yeah. And the difference wasn't extreme. I didn't feel the cravings because I had been on it for a year and a half now. I did feel a little brain fog after a yep. week of not, but to your point exactly, it was very different experience than going off it the first time when I was six weeks into the product product. So. Right, exactly, exactly. So let me, let me get these last two questions and then we'll wrap it up for tonight, okay? So Arlene's got a question. Um, ongoing sinus infection. After taking antibiotics for five days and not taking any probiotics, I'll be doing a reboot this weekend. And what regimen should you follow? So I would say just 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 follow the normal follow the normal uh, reboot regimen and and then start getting back on your fundamentals. One thing I might recommend to you that's a little bit different than average is that with that sinus infection, you still might have some residual damage that 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 needs to be taken care of. So there's a couple of things that you can do in addition to a regular fundamental mentals regimen. One is to double up on your mental sink um, and at, make sure that you're adding seed fiber and superfood. And the reason for those three additions, extra mental sink, adding seed fiber, adding, um, adding superfood, is that the mental sink and the seed fiber are really going to get your immune system properly primed so that your immune system is really able to pay attention to getting rid of any residual infection that's in there so that it doesn't come back. A lot of times with sinus infections, you'll, 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 you'll do an antibiotic regimen like that and it'll go away and then it'll come raging back a few days or a week later because you haven't fully gotten it out of your system. Those two, those two ingredients, because of the beta glucan in menta sink and the alpha glucans in seed fiber are really going to be able to get your immune system. It's not a stimulation of your immune system. It's a priming of your immune system, which means that your immune system is going to pay better attention to the things it needs to fight. And it's also going to be better uh, able to ignore things that it doesn't need to fight. So you're not going to get that, 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 that over inflammation. The reason you want to add superfood is because after a sinus infection, you might have some residual inflammation and damage in those sinuses. And the superfood, because it's of, of, of its ability to stimulate heat shock protein uh, production and to stimulate that autophagy, that cellular cleanup process, that's going to accelerate that tissue repair of those, of those tissues that were under so much stress during that infection. Okay. So that would be something you'd want to do for, you know, two weeks or a month or something like that. And then just go back to whatever your normal regimen is. Um, and then this last one from Brenda, are there any interactions with pharmaceuticals that I need to be concerned about? Um, do we need to tell doctors like your neurologist 
you, uh, because you have MS that were taking these supplements. So, you know, I, I, you know, I, I, I really do encourage people to tell their doctors that they're taking supplements. What I don't really encourage people to do necessarily is ask permission from your doctor to take supplements. I think it's really important that people make whatever decision you think is best for your health in terms of what supplements or, you know, lifestyle or natural options that you want to do, but then definitely share that with your doctor and say, look, doc, this is what I've decided to do. This is why I'm going to do it. I want you to be aware that this is what I'm doing because this is part of me now. Right. And what we end up seeing a lot of times is that, you know, if you have a doctor that is really invested in your health, which is exactly what they should be doing, this should be a partnership between you and your doc in order to get your health the best. If they're not interested in talking about natural therapies to you, even if they're not trained in it necessarily, you need to find another doctor. Right. Because if they dismiss that out of hand, they don't have your best health in in mind right and that's and and that's not in your best interest um doctors who have studied that most most physicians don't get any of this training in medical school when i taught at the university of utah we would get the medical students for a day to teach them everything that the entire department knew about nutrition and you know my part herbal herbal medicine herbal therapies was maybe 45 minutes right so it's not it's not part of traditional medical school training. So, you know, functional medicine docs, people have gone and got extra training in nutrition, know a heck of a lot about this and can absolutely help you. So definitely share it with them. Definitely let them know that you're doing this. But what we see is not really interferences or interactions with our products and medications. Uh, those kinds of things are possible. We know that St. John's wort interacts with a lot of medications. We know that ginkgo biloba interacts with a lot of medications like blood thinners. Uh, we know that we, you know, we know that those kinds of interactions do happen, but we don't have any of those kinds of herbs or ingredients in our existing product line. So, so that's not a condition or that's, that's, that's not a situation that we, that we tend to worry about. What we do worry about is that if somebody's on a certain dose of a medication or a cocktail of medications, um, as they start to introduce a rebalancing regimen uh, naturally, like fundamentals or antibiotics or Project B3 or you know, any of the thing, kinds of things that we do, as your body gets into a better state of balance, very often you don't need as much of these. And so let's you know, think of it this way. You're taking a certain level of, of dr drug or drugs that is getting you to a certain point in, in the face of your imbalance. Now that you're starting to rebalance, now maybe you don't need as much of these drugs. And so that's something you have to work with your doctor on to say, hey, I'm getting better. I'm feeling better. I'm performing better. I'm whatever. Maybe it's appropriate to drop this one out or lower this one down or see if there's a different cocktail of things that maybe has fewer side effects. So that's something that's really, really important. We see that kind of thing happening all the time. We even see functional medicine docs around the country you doing this, saying, here's people who are on this certain thing. I'm going to use the Amari products as step-down therapy because I tried to get the person off of this before and we came down and we came down and then we tried to come down again and they had withdrawal side effects and we had to go back up. And so now we see doctors using the products as a way to induce that balance so that when they come down and come down and come down, there isn't that withdrawal side effect. So those people can come down to a lower level and you know, sometimes off. But that's, that's a conversation that people have to have on an individual basis with their, with their personal health care provider. Okay, so, and that's the last question in there. And I think what I'm going to do is close it down there. I'm going to share this up to YouTube uh, sometime tomorrow and uh, I'll post it up on my blog and post it up on Facebook so people can share it around. Okay. So anyway, thanks for being here tonight, you guys. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Have Thank a good night.